Welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about how to handle projected project delays in a very simple scenario where predecessors are not involved. In this video, I will be talking about a slightly more advanced scenario where a task has predecessors. And we will be using the Project Planner Advanced Excel template for this demonstration. So now let's get started. So I have the template open again and we're going to use a very similar example as before. So the planning period is the same, 1st November to 1st April, and the resources are exactly the same and the availability of hours is exactly the same. So now we will check also the project. Project is still one project. The preferred end date is 31st December. Tasks. Now there are three tasks. The first one is design, assigned to designer one. Second is develop, assigned to developer one. Third is design more, which is assigned to designer two. The important difference here is the, the task three has a predecessor, which is task one. So by putting a one here in this template, what we are informing the template is that task three can begin only after task one is complete because task three is dependent on task one. In other words, task one is a predecessor of task three. The template uses this information and builds the automatic schedule accordingly. And now let's see whether this project will actually complete on time. We go to the plan summary and we see that the plan, the project will actually end on 7th January, but our preferred end date is 31st December. So clearly it will complete late. And as we scroll to the right, we will see that the project timeline indicates it's in yellow, which means it'll complete late. And this thin line here is the uh, project preferred end date. And clearly the yellow bar goes beyond that. And that's why it is yellow in color because it'll complete later than our preferred end date for the project. So now let's go and take a look at task schedule in order to better understand where the delay is happening. and these are the three tasks and then we can see all the dates about those three tasks and we can see that the prefer the expected end date for task 1 is 31st December and for task 3 it is 7th January so clearly the task 3 is the one that is extending you know beyond where we want it to be for example we want the entire project to be completed by December 31st but task 3 is extending far beyond that. And so now it is possible to think that, hey, let's see what we can do to reassign task 3 to another resource who can finish the project faster or task faster. But keep in mind that this task has a predecessor. So that is the slightly more advanced scenario that we're talking about here. Whatever reassignment we may do for the task 3, it may not actually improve the chances of completion of the project on time because the project, the task three can only begin on Jan 1st because task one, which is a predecessor, is taking all the way until December 31st. So whatever we do here to task three really will not help us complete the project before December 31st. So we need to really go to task one and see what we can do to make that task finish much, much earlier than December 31st. So now let's see what we can do on task one. Task one is assigned to designer one. And when we go back to the settings, we will see that the designer one works for 25 hours a week, whereas designer two works for 40 hours a week. So this, the potential solution here is if we assign the task one to designer two instead of designer one, we may have a better chance because designer two clearly works a lot more hours than designer one every week. So I'm gonna to go to the task sheet, reassign this to designer two, and now let's go to the plan summary, and now let's see when the project will finish. The expected end date now is 16th December. Great, so this is really good news. We'll complete on time. This is all in green and let's go to the task schedule and task one now will actually end on 9th December and task three can begin on 10th December itself and finish on 16th. So clearly 
reassigning the task one helped make the task one complete sooner than before which means that task three can begin after that and ends on December 16. So clearly this has solved the problem for us. The takeaway here is that assigning um, a resource with increased availability will definitely help to finish a task much faster. But when there are predecessors involved, it is very important that we understand the delay that is happening because of the predecessor task and go and assign that predecessor task to another resource with an increased availability and that may help you avoid the project delays as we saw here. So if there are any questions about this, please leave me a comment and I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you very much for watching the video.